Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you a couple of ways to add an events timeline to your WordPress website. So let's get started. An events timeline is basically a list of all the events that has occurred in your project that you can showcase to your viewers. So I'll just show you an example. This is an events timeline that we have created from scratch in one of the previous videos. Here we can see we have an event over here on this date and then we have the next event and uh, the next event and so on. So we have the dates of all the events and uh, this can give the users an idea of how the project went on. Now in this video I'll show you how to add the events timeline in two different ways. We'll be using a plugin. And then I'll also show you how to add this custom timeline to your website. So first of all, let's see how to add the timeline using a plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. And we'll search for a plugin called cool timeline. And here we have this plugin by cool plugins. So just go ahead and click on install now. All right, the plugin has been installed. Now click on activate. And the plugin has been activated. Here we can see all the activated plugins and here we have cool timeline. Now when you activate the plugin, you'll find two options over here on the left side of your dashboard. They are timeline stories and cool timeline settings. So we'll take a look at the settings later. But first of all, let's take a look at what are timeline stories. So let's click on that. Now here we can see that uh, we have to add stories to our timeline and all the stories will be displayed as uh, the events over here. So if you add the first story, it will be displayed in place of this and uh, the next story will be displayed in the next event. So in this way, we can add as many stories as we want over here. So let's click on add new and let's add a new story. We'll just go ahead and copy this uh, heading from here and we'll paste it over here in this title and I will copy this text from here as well and then just paste it over here all right we have added the title and the content now if you scroll down we can see we have the option of adding the date so let's set a date we'll just set five and if you scroll down we can see that we have some more features if you buy the pro version of this plugin but we'll just stick to the free version and on the right here we have the option of adding a featured image so let's click on that and uh, let's add a featured image. I'll just click on this image and click on set featured image. All right, we are done with the first story. Now let's uh, click on publish. So the first story has been published. Let's add uh, two more stories. So here we'll type designing and we'll copy the content over here. And for the date, we will select 9. And we'll also select a featured image for this. And click on publish. And the last one. And uh, we'll set the date to 16. We'll select a featured image. And uh, let's click on publish. Alright, now let's go to all stories and we can see the three stories are being displayed over here and the story dates are being displayed over here. Alright, so now we'll add this story to one of our pages in WordPress. Now you can add this to your post or your page. We'll just add to a page. So we'll go to pages and we'll create a new page. So I'll just add a title over here. The journey of our project. Now here you can click on this plus icon and you'll get a list of all the Gutenberg blocks that you can have or else you can just type forward slash and you'll get those lists over here as well. So here we have two options, cool timeline shortcode and cool timeline instant builder. First of all, let's take a look at this shortcode. So I'll just click on that. And here we can see our shortcode has been added over here. Now we have some settings over here on the right, but first of all, let's click on publish and let's see how it looks right now. So let's click on view page. So here we can see our timeline is being displayed. We have the heading and we have the year over here. 
and then we have the date and uh, the heading and uh, this content we have the next event over here and then we have the last event over here so this is how the events timeline is added to your WordPress page let's go back and take a look at some of the settings so let's uh, go back and uh, click on edit and uh, let's click on this block and here you can see we have some options we have the select layout option where you can select how the layout of uh, the timeline should be we have different types of layouts let's select horizontal and see how it looks so let's refresh our page and uh, this is how the horizontal one looks we don't have the image being displayed over here in the horizontal one so let's go back and uh, let's take a look at how this one side layout looks so this is how the one side layout looks it's also looking fine so you can go ahead and check this out I'll not click on all the other options and then we have the post to be displayed per page so I'll just set it as default and we have the date format so different types of date formats you can choose from and we can also add icons to each of the stories so if you want you can display them over here as well and we have the skin and we also have the option of animation we have one animation called fade in up let's see how it looks so we can see when we scroll down the event is animating up and there are some options over here you can go to advanced and you can even add additional CSS over here if you know some CSS so that's basically how you add this events timeline using the short code now let me show you how to add it using the instant builder so let's go ahead and create a new block and I will select cool timeline and we'll click on instant builder and we can see instantly we have this uh, new timeline built over here so you can go ahead and directly add the date you can change these dates you can change the headings the content you can even upload the images we'll add one more story I'll just copy this from here and paste it over here so this is how you can quickly and easily add an event timeline we have some settings over here as well so we can have one-sided or uh, default which is both sided and uh, we can have the title size we can have the description size the date size the colors and all those things so let's click on update and uh, let's see how it looks on our page so this is our first timeline and uh, then we have this instant timeline over here right now let's take a look at some of the options that we have to customize this timeline let's go back to the dashboard and uh, let's go to cool timeline settings so the first one over here is uh, the title of uh, the timeline if you go over here we can see it is called our project we can change it over here and uh, then we have the heading title tag we can change it to h1 h2 through h6 and the title alignment center right left so these are all basic settings then if you go to style settings we have some options like we can add a background color if you want so if I turn it on and click on save changes we can see we now have a background color to our timeline I'll just remove that and then you can change the background color of the story the circle color and all these colors over here you can even add custom styles over here and then we have the typography settings where you can change the fonts the font size and the font weight and you can change the case and then we have the advanced settings over here for this you have to buy the pro version of this plugin so let's click on save and uh, so this is basically how you can add the events timeline using the cool timeline plugin in WordPress and uh, it's also responsive I suppose so let's check it out and here we can see when we are on the mobile version it has a different layout and design so it is definitely responsive 
Now lastly, let's also see how to add this custom timeline to our WordPress page. So this is basically a timeline that we have created from scratch using HTML and CSS. If you want to learn how to create this from scratch, I have a video on that as well. You can check out the link in the description below and I also have the source code. So I will leave the link of the source code as well in the description below. Now here we can see that this is the source code of our uh, timeline over here. So first of all, let's go ahead and copy the HTML from here. So we'll just copy this whole timeline container division and uh, we'll paste it inside our page. So let's go back to the page, we'll go to pages and then click on edit in the journey of our project. Right, let's uh, scroll down and uh, let's create a new block and here we need to add some code so we'll type HTML and here we can see we have the option of adding custom HTML to our page so let's click on that and here we can paste the HTML that we just copied so this is the complete HTML of our uh, timeline now let's click on update you can also preview the HTML right here if you want and uh, let's go ahead and uh, refresh our page and we can see that the timeline is being displayed over here let's also add the CSS so that it looks exactly like this so let's update and uh, let's go back now for adding the CSS I have this plugin called custom CSS and JS so if you don't have this you can just go to plugins and click on add new and search for custom CSS and JS and you'll find this plugin now after installing and activating this plugin you can find this option over here on the left of the dashboard just go ahead and click on add custom CSS so here let's uh, type events timeline CSS as a title and uh, let's add the CSS over here so let's go to the CSS file and uh, let's copy all the CSS from here and we'll paste it over here and we have some options here on the right and uh, let's set everything as the default and click on publish and uh, let's go ahead and refresh our page and here we can see that our uh, style is almost being displayed correctly but we do have some issues so first of all we need to change this font so for that we need to add the link of the Google fonts to our WordPress website so let's go back over here and uh, let's click on add custom HTML and this is where you can add the fonts so I'll just type timeline font and let's go back to the HTML and uh, let's copy this link from here this is the link of the Google fonts so I'll just paste it over here and uh, it'll be in the header and everything else will be as it is let's click on publish and uh, let's refresh our page and now we can see that the fonts is working all right so we do have some issues as well like we don't have the correct margin and padding all being displayed over here so you can just go right click and inspect and uh, just go ahead and uh, see what is the errors over here you can simply make some changes over here in the CSS and you can make it work for example for the paragraph I think we can remove the margin we can set the margin to zero and it will work all right for the margin and for the heading we can add a padding bottom and uh, let's set it to 30 pixels or we can just decrease it to say 16 pixels and for the timeline content we can add a margin top so now this looks all right so you can add these updated CSS to this uh, plugin over here and uh, everything will be all right so that's basically it for this video I have shown you how to add events timeline in three different ways first of all we added this using our plugin and then we added this uh, in the Gutenberg editor itself using the instant builder and then lastly I showed you how to add a custom events timeline to your WordPress website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day